Now, within hours, a Russian spacecraft will burn up as it returns to Earth after a failed bid to reach the International Space Station. The rocket, along with its three tons of supplies, is expected to be destroyed as it enters the atmosphere. Meteorologist Tom Sater joins us now with more. And Tom, it's spinning out of control, heading towards Earth. Can you explain where it's heading at the moment? Uh, I can tell you where the International Space Station is, Linda, because it is spinning very close to that. I mean, we don't have an actual uh, picture of it, but where will it fall is still a little unknown now when it comes to this sort of supply aircraft and spacecraft this launched out of Kazakhstan uh, in April April 28th this is not the first progress its name in fact three or four a year are sent up to the International Space Station let me show you some video of the launch and explain a little bit about this because everyone is wondering well does it always just come burning down to earth well they're designed for this believe it or not Again, the Russian Space Agency sends three or four a year. They take water, they take food, they take oxygen, spare parts, supplies. And once these reach orbit and they hook up with the International Space Station, and once it's unloaded, the crew, which right now the crew on the ISS is six, one is going to get ready for a, a year stay, they unload and then they put trash and waste into this capsule. Once it's detached from the International Space Station, it is designed to burn up. Now, Th what happened here with this launch on the 28th? Everything looks fine. Once it made its way into orbit, they lost contact. Now, let me show you this next video. It might get you a little dizzy, but it's been spinning out of control. That is Earth that you see, and you can just get an idea what it must be like, the spacecraft. Now, the Russian Space Agency says... It's look at it like a controlled descent. Let's show you where this is. The only problem is there is absolutely no control. This is a look of this is the International Space Station. We know it's spinning very close to this and you can see oh we've got Brazil and South America and of course here are southern areas of Africa. So again, we're going to watch it on its trip. It is believed that because there is no control, entering the Earth's atmosphere will be sometime between 4 and 9 hours. Again, it is expected to burn up, but there are parts of this Linda uh, some parts of the, uh, the construction, the framing, that will fall. Uh, now, even though there's more water on Earth than land, I mean, still something will fall. Typically, it falls in the Pacific Ocean. Again, with no control here, uh, we're going to be watching this one closely. Now, the crew on the International Space Station is okay. They were told to... Uh, reserve a little bit, conserve the resources. Uh, U.S. is planning on June 19th to get another supply uh, to the ISS. Interesting story. This is not the first glitch, though. The last progress, well, not the last one, but in 2011, it uh, crashed in Siberia after uh, its launch. So a couple setbacks there for the space agency. So some people towards the, the southern part of Africa may find themselves with a tiny little piece yeah, I think of this it's, capsule. Yeah, I think it'll fly past there quickly. It'll be uh, about nine hours. It, it moves a lot faster than we think. This picture will change in about 30 seconds. We'll be watching it. Tom Sater, thanks very much as always. You're watching CNN News Center. I'm Linda Kincaid, live at the CNN World Headquarters. Thanks very much for joining me right here on CNN.